All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So today I'm at First Energy Ballpark, and I'm really excited. We're going to see the Lego Blue Claws. They are an affiliate for the Philadelphia Phillies, a single A team. Yesterday I saw the Reading Phillies, which is the double A team. So today I'm at the single A stadium. Super excited. It's going to be a great day. I hope you guys are ready to come ahead and follow with me in this vlog. So I had a great weekend, two baseball games, both minor league games. I saw the double-A Phillies and the single-A Phillies. That was super fun. Uh, I love going to see minor league games. I don't get too often, though, so it was great to go ahead and have this weekend over the summer and take advantage of it. There is the Del Mar for Shorebirds. They are first in their division and the affiliate of the Baltimore Orioles. So this is a quick pano of the stadium. It's awesome. I love being able to take advantage of that outfield space, being able to walk out there before the game and during the game and catch every out and every angle. I think it's great and just really fun for the fans and interactive being able to see everything. What you're going to see in just a couple moments is a Ryan Howard poster out in the batter's eye in center field. His number was retired, of course, growing up, having to go through the minor leagues. He was great there and great with the Major League Baseball Phillies, so he is one of two guys with retired numbers at that stadium. The other is Cole Hamels, and that is his retired number poster out there in center field as well. So I was actually in the picnic area down the third baseline for the game, got to eat as much food as possible. So I got to see the Delmarv Orioles up close, and there is their catcher warming up and just kind of stretching out, and that is Buster, one of the two mascots for the Lakewood Blue Claws. So much like the Philly Fanatic, Buster has a grand entrance into every game. That was him in the back of a pickup truck. He actually drove right past me, so I got this super cool close-up shot of him with the American flag. Wagner Ramirez is one of the first shorebirds that I met of the game, and he is pictured here. So right here we have some more Delmarv Orioles players warming up. I keep saying Orioles, but they're really the Delmarv Shorebirds. And right there, I tried to zoom into the Lakewood Blue Claws warming up. I stayed down the third baseline pretty much the entire time. That is Felix Bautista. And this right here is a player whose name I do not know. If you know it, let me know down below in the comment section. The fourth Shorebird I met that day was Matthew Hammonds. And this is him and I and a selfie that I took. So in between meeting players, I just kept taking some more clips of them throwing and warming up, getting loose. I thought that would be super cool. The final players I'd be able to take pictures with and interact with were Matt De La Rosa and then Ruben Garcia. These last two players were both bullpen guys. This is a clip of actually two players playing a hacky sack, which is really cool. If you guys don't know, it's that little uh, like beanbag game that you're kicking the ball back and forth to each other, trying not to let it hit the ground. So that was cool. Some fun little clips there. They were speaking in Spanish. You guys aren't going to be able to hear that in this clip because I'm talking over it. But uh, it was just cool to see and a fun interaction. This is the starting pitcher for Delmarv prepping for his start. And he would eventually get the win at the end of the day. But really cool to go ahead and see him again from a close point of view. I was right there. was probably like a foot or two away from him. And of course, actually in the stands, not on the field. But really cool. He was throwing really well throughout the game. And uh, took a decent amount of throws from the mound here. On the flip side of things, this is going to be the Lakewood Blue Claws starter going ahead, warming up from the mound. And then in the next clip, we're going to see the first pitch that he threw of the game. I love adding these little clips into the video for you guys just to see how well they do to start. And, you know, of course, you guys will figure out whether or not they get the win or the loss from watching the rest of the video. But this was the Blue Claws pitcher's first pitch of the evening. It was a 105 start really good day to have some baseball. It was actually a hit to right field. The ball was caught and tracked down. So one pitch, one out. Number 35 for the Shorebirds. This is him throwing from the mound now in game. He's getting ready for his first pitch as well. So again, you saw the Lakewood Blue Claws starting pitcher and his first pitch for the Shorebirds at number 35. This is going to be his first pitch right here. So the Baby Shark song has made a huge comeback within the past year or two, and they designated a whole half an inning for this promotion and just people being able to dance to it. That's my sister dancing to the Baby Shark song. She got a kick out of that, and I got that on camera for you guys. This is probably about my fourth Lakewood Blue Claws game, maybe fifth, but every time I go, they have this poor girl egg and cheese race. They do this every home game. I think it's just really cool. There's actually, like, in the book that you get once you enter the stadium, you can guess who's going to win, and then there's also an eyeball race 
if you guys guess both correctly, you get like some sort of prize or something, which is really cool. There's that clue. This was the other race I was referring to. You can see the blue eyeball took a huge lead and easily won that one, but super cool. Just fun little promotions to get younger kids involved, especially, and just fun for every fan to watch in the stands. So right here, this is Matthew Hammonds warming up in the bullpen, if you do remember from earlier on in the video. I actually met this guy, so that's two nights in a row. I'm going to meet a player who's going to pitch in the game, or who did end up pitching the game, which was super cool. Got to see some live action from him. This is him entering the game. I believe he pitched like two or three innings and ended up finishing out for the Delmarv Shorebirds in the ninth. So as you're going to see on both foul poles, there is the Eat More Chicken sign. I believe Fenway Park is a Major League Baseball stadium that does this as well, but I don't remember exactly. Being in the third base picnic area, I was in a very good spot to catch a foul ball, and as you did see at the beginning of this clip, I caught one. Super cool. I think that's my second ever ball from the Lakewood Blue Claws game, and really fun, really exciting, great catch on my part. I wish I got a clip of it, but... This is going to be the end of the game here. You got a pitcher warming up for the Shorebirds. He did not end up coming into the game, but he was throwing. So I thought, hey, I'm close to him. He is getting warm up, so might as well get it for the vlog on camera. So this is going to be the last out of the game. You could see on the scoreboard who was up to bat for the Blue Claws. They were down a couple of runs in the bottom of the ninth with two outs. Didn't have very many opportunities to score. I don't think there was anyone on base at this point in time, so they really just needed to get a couple hits to come back into the game. That was not the case, however. They're going to go ahead and end up losing this game to the Shorebirds, but it was a great play to finish off the game. Super cool to watch. Everyone's going to go ahead and celebrate. You're going to see number 30 throw two balls into the stands for two different fans to catch. And the Shorebird is going to go off and celebrate. The Blue Claws unfortunately lost that game. I was kind of rooting for the Shorebirds, though, just because I met so many other players that were doing so well. And, hey, I can't root for the Orioles in Major League Baseball, so might as well root for them in Minor League Baseball, am I right? So that was it. A final score of 4-2. to two. The Blue Claws lost the game to the Delmarv Shorebirds, but a really good game offensively and defensively. There was a little bit of rain, but that did not pause the game in any way. Touch the next base. Touch the next base. Down on the field after the game, just run the bases. Sam. Alrighty, so that's gonna end it for this video. If you enjoyed, okay, drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe. I caught a foul ball in the ninth inning, and Del Marvel won 4-2. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.